Warning, there are no tarantulas in this video. Hello tarantula lovers, I'm Alex and you're watching Tarantula Haven. I lied to you, there are tarantulas in this video, but the only tarantulas that you're going to see were the ones you just saw in the intro. Now, um, I've mentioned before in previous videos that I'm a school teacher, I'm a middle school teacher here in Florida, and um, I am currently on spring break. And usually on spring break, my wife and I like to choose a destination to go to so we can take pictures, usually about of nature and of course animals and so on. So um, this year was no different, and most of the time we usually visit a state park or something to that effect and, and go and spend a day and take pic lots and lots of pictures. Um, this year we decided that we wanted to go to the uh, Florida Museum of Natural History in Gainesville at the University of Florida. And uh, we had been there before, but our children were very small when we went, and it was pretty cool. They have a lot of stuff there for being a small museum. But um, we hadn't been since then, and um, they've added an attraction to it since we've been originally, and it, it is the uh, Butterfly Rainforest. So we decided that we wanted to go take a look at that and experience that. Um, we had been to the one in Jacksonville at the Jacksonville Zoo, and it was pretty cool, but we hear that this was so much better, and we talked about it for years and just haven't been, so finally we decided that we wanted to go ahead and go so we can take some pictures. So um, here's a video of our experience and some of the pictures that I took while I was there.
I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Um, if you're ever in Florida in the Gainesville area, I highly encourage you to visit the Florida Museum of Natural History, especially the um, Butterfly Rainforest. Um, the Florida Museum of Natural History is actually free and um, I believe it's $11 for Florida residents to go into the but Butterfly Rainforest and $13 if you're not. So it's not something that's going to break the bank, but it's definitely worth the experience um, even if you just go for the butterflies, that's a pretty fun thing to do. And if you are a photographer, a shutterbug, just like me, I highly encourage it. There's plenty of opportunities for you to get pictures of lots and lots of butterflies. I do believe that the butterflies that they have available are usually seasonal, depending on the time of the year they have different butterflies there. Um, and there were plenty of the uh, morpho blue butterflies there. Unfortunately, they're hard to photograph. Uh, most of the time when you see that beautiful blue color is when they're flying. When they land, they tend to fold up their wings and you see the um, all the nice patterns, the brownish colors and the little circles and things underneath their wings when they're folded up. So most of the pictures that I got of those were with their wings closed. I didn't I didn't I don't think I got a single picture of them open. They're they're very tough to get. So um, my wife and I are definitely going back. We enjoyed the experience so much and we definitely want to get a shot of those butterflies with their wings open if we can. Um, so anyway, um, you know, I, I highly encourage you to visit any of your local attractions, especially things like state parks and museums and so, and, and so on. A lot of them are free or very low cost and they offer a lot of opportunity for you to learn about your um, local environment and so on. Um, one of the things I was very impressed by was that terror bird, the, the uh, fossil of the terror bird. I had no idea that they were in our area way back then. Um, they're terrifying to me. <laughs> they're pretty cool. But the idea of such a large bird roaming around that's capable of eating you um, just terrifies me. So I ended up picking up a shirt with the terror bird on it. I was so impressed by it. And as you probably have figured out by now, I love t-shirts. So usually wherever I go, I end up buying myself a t-shirt. So I got myself a t-shirt from the Florida Museum. And uh, it also helps to support the museum, especially those free ones. So, you know, I definitely encourage you to do something like that. So anyway, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please hit the like button if you did and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, keep loving them tarantulas and butterflies.